Hey guys, hey internet, come and watch us draw and talk horror store. Anyway, um, I know it's been a hot minute since we've actually like made any videos or shared any creations with you guys. We've mainly been doing the whole live streaming thing for, the, I would say like the whole of 2020 because that's the only thing that I could actually focus in on, um, if that makes any sense. Um, Losing my abuelita has been a very, very, very weird experience. Let's just leave it at that. And then life, medical issues, you name it, sandwich it all together. I think we all have had our fair share of like catastrophes, shenanigans, and then some. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, I wanted to start a series where I took, um, I was kind of inspired by a bunch of artists who were recently taking book covers and painting their own versions. And I thought, you know what? I've read a lot of books this past year and I've watched a lot of horror movies. Why not draw them and talk about them? So tonight's first um, one up is going to be Horror Store. Anyway, enjoy the time lapse. So first one up is Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Um, so think ikea meets horror store let me just say um i will never think the same way about any ikea-esque store again nor do i want to wander around in one um so what's the book about so essentially something strange is happening at the orsk furniture superstore in cleveland ohio every morning employees arrive to find broken bookshelves shattered items and more Sales are down, and security cameras reveal absolutely freaking nothing, and store managers are completely panicking. So to unravel the mystery, three employees, quote-unquote volunteer, to work a nine-hour dust-till-dawn shift, each with a reward in mind. Through the night, though, they patrol the empty showroom floors, investigate strange sights and sounds, and encounter horrors that will absolutely defy your imagination. While there are some kind of like spooky, weird, what the F moments in this damn book, it is worth the freaking read. Um, even though it had me going what the heck a lot of the time, um, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, without giving any spoilers away, essentially it's a traditional haunted house story in a thoroughly contemporary setting, which I am totally a fan of. And it was absolutely freaking great. Um, this book was quite a page turner and... I honestly couldn't wait to read what happened next, and it did not disappoint. Um, I really enjoyed the whole premise behind this book, and I love how Grady Hendrix keeps you on your toes and how nothing is ever what it seems. I'm just a huge fan of plot twists. Um, I think if you are somebody who enjoys Chuck Palahniuk um, type style writing, you will definitely enjoy um, anything Grady Hendrix has written. So if you're looking for a good horror book uh, that keeps you on your toes from beginning to end with tons of plot twists, definitely check out Horror Store. I give the book a rating of 3 out of 4 in the land of horror. Um, and as I already mentioned, I will never think of Ikea stores the same way again. Nor do I ever want to step foot in one. Um, I don't know if that's just me though. Um, but if you've read the book, you know what I mean. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this drawing of Horror Store come to life. Um, let me know if you've read the book. I would really love to know. Um, Grady Hendrix is probably one of those authors that I really, really enjoy his writing style. Um, I recently read um, The Southerners Book Club's <laughs> Guide to um, Slaying Vampires. It was a freaking awesome book. It came out sometime last year. Um, I forget exactly which month, um, but I discovered it. I read it from end to end after having already read Horror Store and knowing I already liked his writing style to begin with. And it blew my mind. Um, I really thoroughly enjoyed that book. And then he's supposed to be coming out with another one um, sometime in July, which is... Um, I'm kind of stoked about this one. It's the Final Girl Support Group, um, which the title alone has me sold. Um, if you want to check that out, I will leave links to the different books that I'm discussing down below. Anyway, if this is your first video that you're seeing in mine, my name is Alethea. I go by the artist name Ink Eater. I love drawing portraits and drawings and creatures for my imagination 
and bringing things to life. And sometimes we do talk about music. If that's totally your thing, then definitely subscribe to my channel down below. And if not, no worries. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing awesome. And if you've read the book, let me know what your thoughts. I know that there were conversations about how they were going to take the, ser take the book and turn it into a TV series. And I don't know whatever became of that. Uh, anyway, fingers crossed it happens because it would be a really, really, it would transition really, really well into a TV series. Um, anyway, um, let me know your thoughts down below. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And if you are into live streams, definitely join us um, Saturday night um, where we draw live. And it's usually your choices. Anyway, stay awesome. Bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Not always what it seems in this place. So you can't take anything for granted.